Welcome back to Be a Sponge. In this activity, we're going to discuss code or blocks, you could say it, because there are block shape in the code. So the different categories that they have is organized by motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operations, variables, and my blocks. So let's get started with the motion. These contain the instructions that control your sprint, sprint movement. This is one of the area that you use the most. Next, let's go to looks. Looks is another area, another many blocks that use a lot too. And here you'll find the blocks that modify the appearance of everything on the scene. Next is the sound. Sound is want to add a bit of music to your project or to sprint. This is where you do it right here, the sounds area. Next is event. These include the blocks that represent events or a situation like starting click to go. Next, we'll talk about controls. This is extremely important. It explains how and when to activate the various scripts or the code. Next is sensing. These blocks are for touching or being pressed. The sensing blocks always notice. You can notice touching color, distance, mouse mouse down to drag mode loudness next is operators you'll do some math using these functions like this one right here you could put numbers in them one plus one and eventually you'll do it when you press all the other code in there next is variables this is where you have different variables that you could use to perform a fun action and you could create your thing and this is sometimes you use for games when you trying to make a point scaler go up or down for the variables in a game system and my blocks here you could make your own block by adding input or balloon or just label Let's get a little more specific now. This block right here is called a hat block and always place at the start of the script or the code area. Nothing can be placed above the hat block. These items here are your stack blocks. Like I stated, these are very important and you'll probably use them the most. It tells them what they have to do of the sprint. But you can place blocks above and below them. The control as in forever or a C shape, like repeat. It is how many times to perform something. Perform a function is if statement goes on forever like this statement and the stop ball this is placed at the end of the script area with all your things nothing can go blow it but it tells it to end it Here is a report block. These blocks around the edges and give you different type of values, for example, numbers or words. Here's a block where you see a 
little carrot, it moves the spring to do certain function. Mouse pointer or random position, or you know, changing a direction or rotation left, right, don't rotate all around. So, I'm gonna try to use a good amount of different blocks from different categories. So, event when clicked, motion, mm, how about turn. 45 degrees sound please sound meow I don't remember doing this one so hmm. how about hide event I did event already, so control. So wait three seconds and yes. What's your name? And wait. And here's a variable that I created for stop. The value go to back to zero. To get a little bit of understanding, I click my make a variable. And that's what I did right there. And that's what came down to one of these, my variables. And how about the stop ball? not really needed but there it is the other functions like operator or sensing or operator really you know I've used it in other projects where you can see how it works or you're creating your own project Let's play it. That was a little fast. Disappeared. Someone said, What's her name? But what we could have done is after we press click, sponge can reappear. But when we stop it, it's still not there because I put hide away. It's a ghost. Thanks for joining me.